This video is a continuation for the topic AHB Interface AMBA protocol. So let's get started. H clock, here H represents AHB signal. The bus clock times all bus transfers. All signal timings are related to the rising edge of HCLK. H reset N. The bus reset signal is active low and resets the system and the bus. This is the only active low signal. H address. The 32-bit system address bus. H burst. The burst type indicates if the transfer is a single transfer or forms part of a burst. Fixed length bursts of 4, 8, and 16 beats are supported. The burst can be incrementing or wrapping. Incrementing bursts of undefined length are also supported. H mast lock. When high, indicates that the current transfer is part of a lock sequence. It has the same timing as the address and control signals. H prod. The protection control signals provide additional information about a bus access and indicate how an access should be handled within a system. The signals indicate if the transfer is an opcode fetch or data access, and if the transfer is a privileged mode access or a user mode access. Hubbard 6 down to 4. The 3 bit extension of the Hubbard signal that adds extended memory types. This signal extension is supported if the AHB5 extended memory types property is true. H size indicates the size of the transfer, that is typically byte, half word, or word. The protocol allows for larger transfer sizes up to a maximum of 1024 bits. H nonsec indicates that the current transfer is either a non-secure transfer or a secure transfer. This signal is supported if the AHB5 secure transfers property is true. HEXCL Exclusive transfer indicates that the transfer is part of an exclusive access sequence. This signal is supported if the AHB5 exclusive transfers property is true. H master master identifier generated by a master if it has multiple exclusive capable threads modified by an interconnect to ensure each master is uniquely identified this signal is supported if the AHB5 exclusive transfers property is true H trans indicates the transfer type of the current transfer this can be Idle, busy, non-sequential, sequential, HO data. The write data bus transfers data from the master to the slaves during write operations. A minimum data bus width of 32 bits is recommended. However, this can be extended to enable higher bandwidth operation. H write indicates the transfer direction when high the signal indicates a write transfer and when low a read transfer it has the same timing as the address signals however it must remain constant throughout a burst transfer h or data destination multiplexer during red operations the red data bus transfers data from the selected slave to the multiplexer the multiplexer then transfers the data to the master. A minimum data bus width of 32 bits is recommended. However, this can be extended to enable higher bandwidth operation. H ready out. Destination multiplexer. When high, the ready out signal indicates that a transfer has finished on the bus. This signal can be driven low to extend a transfer. H R E S P. Destination multiplexer. The transfer response, after passing through the multiplexer, provides the master with additional information on the status of a transfer. When low, 
the RISP signal indicates that the transfer status is OK. When high, the RISP signal indicates that the transfer status is error. Hex OK. Destination multiplexer. Exclusive OK. Indicates the success or failure of an exclusive transfer. This signal is supported if the AHB5 exclusive transfers property is true. So that all for today's video hope you enjoyed and understood the concept of this video. Thank you for watching this video if you like this content please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel.